Don't compromise, just use your eyes Take a look inside the millennial mind Millennial, millennial, millennial mind Welcome to the millennial mind. You might call us lazy and entitled, but it's time you start to understand the millennial generation and break free of those negative stereotypes. Get the knowledge you need to attract, retain, and engage the millennial generation to take them from entitled to engaged. And who better to tell you this than two actual millennials? I'm Garrett Wagner, your entrepreneurial CPA channel host, and I'm here with my fellow millennial, entrepreneur, rapper, future doctor, Drew Carrick. You might know him as the rapping CPA. Are you ready to hear the truth about the millennial mind from us? Now, now Drew, why don't we kick it off with for our first episode of why people need to understand millennials to begin with. Hey everybody, so the rapping CPA, Drew Carrick here. Uh, millennials and understanding millennials is such an important dynamic to, to really comprehend as we enter this, this really uh, era of the work environment where millennials are becoming a majority of the people in the workforce. So you really can't have a conversation about how to deal with the workforce without including millennials as part of that conversation. Uh, so, I mean, that's just like the why it's important to kind of discuss. Yeah, and I think, you know, along with the why, like we're talking here today, it's not that we're, we talk about this a lot, you and me, and we talk about millennials. We're not trying to say that millennials are better. We're both millennials. We're not trying to say we're better. We're just trying to talk about we're different. Every generation is different than that generation that came before it. And yeah. if we want to have successful groups, organizations, businesses, whatever it is, these different groups, whether it's age, social dynamics, whatever it is, need to get along and understand each other. Understanding can't hold us back. So we're here to talk to you about how to better understand millennials, and that's why it's important. So for Drew, let me ask you this. Why do you particularly feel it's so important for you to talk about understanding millennials with other people? So I think definitely one of the things that comes with that is some of the frustrations that you might find while you're in the workforce, uh, trying to get things done. And, and being a millennial means we have a certain mentality, a certain mindset that because of the way that we grew up with the development of technology and social media, the internet, uh, development of computer systems, information systems, all those things have influenced us in a way that other generations haven't necessarily been influenced by. And other ways uh, that the generations before us went about doing things is not necessarily wrong, but it was just, it was dated to the time at which they were doing it. And there's a lot of value that comes with taking those things that were being done by past generations but building upon that and using the tech savvy capabilities that we sort of have uh, and the sort of efficiency, effectiveness mindset, uh, as well as all the cultural aspects of the things that we're looking for in a workplace, it's important to address those things in order to really get the most out of the millennial employees. I like that because it is. How do we get the best and the most out of these employees so they're not feeling frustrated? So the millennials don't sit at their desk and feel frustrated where they work. And so you and any other generation don't feel frustrated with them in turn. You know, there's so many negative stereotypes out there about millennials. And it all comes from that lack of understanding and lack of engaging them. And I think part of it, Drew, that I see, at least on my side personally, the millennials I know, is we definitely have a huge desire to be engaged where we work, more so than the generations before us. Yeah, you know, Garrett, I think that's a good point because it's the fact that we want to be engaged, we want to be involved. And it's when we're told that, you know, you're not allowed to be involved or you're too young to be involved, uh, you haven't gotten there yet, there's not enough experience. That's really what causes, uh, you know, us as millennials to kind of shut down and be like, well, I don't feel like I'm really valued as much as I could be or as I should be, especially when you're fed the whole mentality that, that's you know, very big now in the, in, the, in the market is the value of a college degree and, and it's sort of been put into question with the inflated prices of college and everything. Uh, you know, we went ahead and embedded ourselves to get this education, to go ahead and be able to contribute to the workforce and we wanna be able to contribute right away. Uh, we've had the ability to engage with things going on in the world that previous generations just didn't have access to information to really uh, you know, take in that information and gather those things. Since we have the knowledge of all the things going on, we're much, well, we have a much stronger desire to actually go about 
changing and influencing those things that we're seeing in the world. So that's a kind of a big key there. Yeah, it's definitely a big key that free and open access to information. It's real time. It's everywhere. And we as millennials grew up with that. And that's not to say on, on the flip side, Drew, though, yeah, we come in a, on a business place, a group, whatever it is, and we should be the boss right away. We should get you everything under the sun. But hey, people at the lower level ranks of any organization a lot of times have some of the best ideas to help their organization, organization grow and expand. And you should listen to them no matter what their generation is. The people at the entry level a lot of times have some great ideas. So I want you to yeah. stay tuned to future episodes, everybody, because we're going to dive deeper into how you can better attract, retain, and engage millennials that you work with, that you live with, that you interact with. Me and Drew are here because this is our passion to talk about millennials and get you to understand them better. Yeah. So thank you. Any final words, Drew, before we go? No, just as a, as a millennial, I'm hoping that we can get through to all you guys out there uh, and to really show you what's going on inside this brain. I like it. I like it. So hopefully you learned something new on this show today. Maybe even had a little bit of fun. If not, reach out to Drew or myself. We're happy to answer your questions on the millennial mind, no matter what form they take. If you want help better understanding millennials at your company, firm, business, association, send us a question. Like I said, we're happy to spend some time with you and provide you insight on the millennial mind. Now, do you have your own opinions and thoughts on the millennial mind? Take part in our millennial survey. No matter what your age, we want your input. We're going to request that input, analyze it, and then share the results with you with our findings. There's a link below. I encourage your firm and you to take the test today and let us know. Share your insights. That's it for our show. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we challenge you today to take action to change the world and invest in yourself.